good morning. This is the new MS500i fuel injected chainsaw with 34 inch bar on there. No, I haven't got a new bar yet. This is a very, very, very old first growth western red cedar that was dead standing in a forest fire for 60 years. It comes from Vancouver Island. It is very dark cedar. Let me move the chainsaw off here and uh, talk about this. Okay. So I, I was thinking last night that I wanted to come and carve an owl up here and then some stuff down on the bottom like a tree trunk or something. But I don't think this is the right log for an owl because this crack down the center of it goes all the way through. So this thing is like, uh, what is it? 19 inches some, some points, uh, 16 inches some points. So I could carve an owl and try and offset this crack like have his head up here. But it's just, I'm not good at carving an owl. That's just the bottom line, I guess. So I think what I want to do today is this saw still needs to be broken in a bit, so I'm going to kind of skim this tree, some of the burnt. You can see all this burnt char in here. It's a real friggin' mess, okay? I've, like, I've cleaned it up before with my grinder, and you're black by the end of the day. By half an hour, you're black. So I'm going to skim it a bit with this saw to break it in a little bit. Just kind of running, just medium speed. I'm going to tarp up all these wood spirits that I did yesterday. And uh, I don't know, just on with the show. I'm thinking that I want to carve a big wood spirit in here, maybe a couple with some leaves and stuff on the outside of it, you know? So maybe make it a flower pot because the crack does go all the way through. The crack on the bottom is way worse. I just want to have fun today. Yesterday was production, today's fun. I might even, well, I don't think I'm going to get time to, but I've decided that I want to clean up this, make this guy's head. Like his eyebrows shouldn't look like they're that big from these lines, right? If you look back, these lines in there, those cuts, make his eyebrows look huge. They're not supposed to look like that. And he's got a square head, so if I cut here more, I can fix this, no problem. And his beard, his long beard, is just very flat. I did it with the, with the Mampa cutter. His beard is just so flat, you know, it needs more depth to it, more, I don't know. It just doesn't, doesn't really, it could be a lot better. So one day I'll fix that one up too. But anyways, let's get to this. Okay, so you guys can see how much of a mess that is. Look at the air. It's black, so I'm going to let this die down. Yeah, I just used, look at my saw. It's not, I didn't need to use the big saw to, to clean the bar, the, the char off it. Anyways, coffee break. Okay, you guys, I want to say sorry about these last few videos with the microphone because I just got this new phone. It's it, the, the mic has to be Wi-Fi. I got one that plugs in here. It's in my ears, but um, just bear with me when it comes to this because I'm trying to be able to carve and talk at the same time. So, but anyways, 
Um, there is my Alaskan milk. Yeah, Pete, help me find this. I bought it for 60 bucks. It's just one of those Hoffer Farm, what is it called? Hoffer or something. Okay, so I know I just carved Rob. I know he wants to see me use this with my big, uh, this is my biggest saw. The fuel injected 500i because I got a 34 inch bar on there. I'm going to get a bar that's 25 inches that's smaller and I'm able so I'm able to use it for like uh, blocking out that bar is just a bit too big but I'm going to get a ripping chain for this so I can make uh, slabs right bent slabs or what are cedar slabs but I just don't have the wood for the slabs yet so but anyways this is this chain is just a little bit too loose for me I'll tighten it up a bit and sharpen it okay this is a still dime tip carving bar this is a still 193 rear handle they don't make these saws anymore i think it's the 194 but this is an arborist saw so normally this saw would have the handle on the top and i can't i had i tried carving with a top handle saw and i couldn't stand it so it's hard on your wrist it's hard to move around this being handle on the back is great to move around so you guys remember that if you want to buy a saw some people do use the top panels but not too many okay so here's the 193 still 193 I'm going to be using this most today. It almost needs a new chain. See that chain? It's just got, see that cutter? It's just getting down there. They're super small. So, and then here's the other, uh, here's the exact same saw. This is a still 193, exact same saw, rear handle, but it's got the 8 inch cannon bar, uh, dime tip bar on here. I got it from uh, my buddy over there at Ryan Cook carves you guys if you want to learn about chainsaw carving i would head over there and subscribe to his channel and uncle kevin carves too that's ryan's best friend he's ryan's child's uncle that's what ryan says so they're not blood but they're family and so that's why he's uncle kevin i better get out of here cops are coming anyway so i'll be using this a little bit i haven't used this that much because well i i bought my my uh echo 2511 it's at the shop but in Canada, they come with a uh, 3 8 sprocket, so I had to order a quarter inch sprocket for the saw because that's what these bars are, quarter inch. And I don't know what's going on. I'm going to call them right now because it's been like three freaking weeks. I've already paid for the saw. The saw's already there, so I don't know. Just like those, that whatever. Okay, so this, um, let me hear. Hold on a sec. So I'm going to kind of keep in mind... What I want to do is carve a big wood spirit deep inside there, okay? Maybe put vines and leaves around it and stuff. But I'm going to keep in mind, maybe I can... I'm just going to fun, have fun today. Like, I'm just going to putter around, crank the tunes, and just enjoy it, right? So, that's what you need to do, guys. Don't no pressure, right? Just have fun. So, I'm going to carve a deep wood spirit in here, like this guy. Okay? Deep wood spirit in there like this guy, maybe some vines. I don't know. I'm going to carve the wood spirit first. And then once I uh, my mind opens up, I'll figure out what I want to do around it. But yeah, this might I might just keep this around for a bench piece for when I do get cedar. And I cut some slabs. I can make a bench piece spirit and uh, a spirit on one side, maybe an owl on another side, right? So I'm just going to have fun today. That's all. Long ago on a shipless ocean. I love that too. Okay, so when I first started chainsaw carvings, I was always Googling uh, images for chainsaw carvings. I still do. I love seeing uh, people's work. And I always kind of thought shapes like this looked like, well, uh, big vaginas. I Sorry, ladies. Sorry, everybody. That's kind of rude of me to say, but I'm just telling the truth, right? So we'll see what we can do to make this not look like that. But um, 
clay's carvings. Look, I got the cucumber something water there, so that's ready to go after when, uh, yeah, I'm done my coffee. But so I guess next step to be to draw the wood spirit on and cut her in. Okay, so I'm going to try and uh, talk on my, I got the plug-in headset, like I said, and uh, draw the wood spirit. Basically, when you draw your wood spirits on for um, chainsaw carvings, it's basically the same thing as uh, Dremel carvings. I always, I have my formula. I don't even really need to draw them on anymore, but I just draw them on for these videos just to show you guys kind of what I'm up to, right? So, but I do draw them on, don't get me wrong. I'm no pro. So, here's your center line, okay? We got to think, where do we want our forehead? You know, where do you want the forehead? Let me see if I can get this camera set up a bit better here. Okay. We want it to be like that guy. That guy's cool. I'm going to gift them to my buddy. So I think our forehead's good. Probably, uh, I don't know, right about here. Because you'll have that kind of hair up there. So what's this? That's a knot there. So we got a knot here too, and one there. So one, two, three knots. I don't really care about the knots. It doesn't matter, because I'm gonna burn this and then flap sand it too, so. But it's nice if you can get so the knot's not in the nose, because the knot's gonna be in the nose right there. Boom. He's gonna have a wart nose. So let's try to avoid that, okay? So our head will be up here. Oh yeah, what am I thinking? Oh, head's up there. Yeah, okay, so heads up here. Uh oh, I'm making a mess. Okay, so our eyes will be here. And here's our nose. Move the head up a bit, okay? So let me try and get this up. Um, it's hard to draw on because I'm, well, because I'm mental. That's why. The wood's always harder around the knot too. So just the knot's right there, but the wood will be harder around it too. So, but anyways, we're going to give this guy like the Fu Manchu mustache. It's with a bottom lip. I'm going to take my time on this wood spirit. I want it to be good, right? Like, the ones yesterday I just blasted off. I think they turned out, some of them turned out all right. Okay, so there we go. There's our eyes. There's our nose. And there's our mustache. Okay, so I'm going to uh, run this with my uh, dime tip bar and uh, go to town, carve her out. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey Ben, studio on the lake. Hope you're doing all right. Glad every lots of people's uh, chipped in to, for your uh, when your uh, carving studio burnt down. So you guys, look how crooked his eyes are. This eye here is way down. That's because I was trying to film on this side, and Kurt actually no excuses. Whatever, it is what it is. I think he's a neat guy. Now I gotta kinda sit here and think of how I wanna make this piece better. I don't have to do anything today. I got lots of other things I can do. Lots of other things I can do. Maybe I'll just leave it for now. What do you guys think? I don't know. Break time. I'll tell you one thing I do know. I'm going to have to do something with his bottom, his top lip. Look at the size of that top lip. Holy cow. Okay. So instead of ruining this one by not knowing what I want to carve on it yet, you guys, maybe the subs, the first one I carved, maybe the subs can give me some ideas. No, I'm not going to do the hands coming out of it. Um, what should I carve around the outside of the whole log? But anyways, this guy's been bothering me. His beard's too long. I'm going to cut his beard down, okay? And then I'm going to fix up his head. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Because he's got a square head right now. I don't like it. It's, it bothers me. Yep. Abra! Cadabra! Okay. Are you guys going to get a full shot of this? So that's about another, uh, I'd say about an hour and a half work. It's better. <laughs> it's better now. This guy's still kind of funny looking, but look at his beard's way shorter. Look how much it sticks off the piece, right? Like, way more depth, right? That's what I say, people. Carve deeper. I cut these eyebrows way back. Now look at his nose. Wow, this guy's got a big broken nose. I'm yelling. Yeah, so uh, I just did a leaf up here, put some green, burnt it, uh, water-based paint. I kind of did a different texture on the trees this time. Practicing, right? You always got to practice. Different textures, things that you like, things you don't like. I don't mind this. I could have taken my time, done a bit of a better job. But it's okay. I just burnt the hell out of this. All this stuff and just hit it with the flap sander. With the sando flex. So anyways. Um, what's next? Well, I got this piece of wood. I like, I, I like this burnt effect. <sighs> See this? This is a piece of cut off of that cedar. So I'm thinking about carving a little wood spirit with my Dremel on this. I'll just do it here. Just a, just a little basic one. Because, here, I'll show you. Just because I like the burnt look, right? It's just like a cool old piece of wood. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. Anyways, there's a green man. Okay, so there's just a quick 10 minute carve. I'm going to uh, treat this with that uh, spar varnish when I get some time. Or when I treat all these ones. Look at all my friends. Makes me happy. I got all these friends hanging out with me. Hey, Bob. Hey, Jack. Hey, Joe. Woo. Okay, so now I'm just going to... Uh, I've been up since uh, 6.30 this morning. I got this piece of crappy wood. I forget the name of the wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is. It's furry, fluffy sh crap. But I'm just going to carve something fun if I don't get too tired. I got a brand new uh, chain on the saw. So I'm just going to carve till I'm tired. Okay, so I'm sure I'm pretty dirty. Um, I'm pretty tired. It was another successful day at Carving Fusion. Come on, get back up there. So.
lot when you burn a piece and you paint it and you sand it, whatever, do your whatever, whatever to clean it up. That's when you start. That's when you get super dirty. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Yeah, I'm happy. I got all my friends back. Yep. I don't know which one's my favorite one. I don't know. I like them all. So you guys, I want to explain something to you. Like if you got a friend that's a professional carver and you know, they're so busy, they're always carving, carving, carving and you ask them for example, say, uh, can you teach me how to carve a bear? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I'll teach you, I'll teach you. But they, you'd like, keep on bugging them. Can you teach me how to carve a bear? And they're like, yeah, 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 I'll, te I'll teach you, I'll teach you. But they're never, they're just so busy, they never have time to teach, teach they never have time to car teach you how to carve a bear. So this is what I've come up with. I'm a problem solver. I, I solve problems my own way. You guys have your way, you solve problems, I solve problems my own way. So let me show you how to tackle a problem when you got a professional carver like Steven Kanzora and you know I've been bugging him to show me how to carve a bear but he hasn't had time so let's see uh, let's let's just see here I'll show you what I carved so there's my bear it's a bear bunny rabbit squirrel chipmunk sea otter Bear dog cat. That's what it is. Hey, the original bear needs a friend, right? This guy needs a friend. So I figured I'd make him a friend. I got my Ryan Cook shirt on today. So that's what you do. You carve something like this and then you post it on social media, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to say, hey, Steve Kanzora, thanks, uh, thanks for taking the time to show me how to carve a bear. <laughs> uh, uh, Steve will get it. It's just, I'm going to post it though. So anyways, because then when your pro carver shows that you're posting pictures that you showed that they're carving this one, well, maybe they'll actually take, they'll be like, well, you think that's a freaking bear? then actually they'll maybe take the time to, to car teach you how to carve a bear. Because that's not a bear. Like I said, I'm just going to have fun and carve whatever I want, and that's what this is. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I even signed this nightmare. Sign all your pieces. See, you guys, when you do bear ears, the ears aren't supposed to be at the very back of the head, okay? This is what Steve taught me. The bear's, the bear's ears aren't supposed to be at the very back of the head. You're supposed to have back of the head, then the ears go up here. Okay? So that's all. I love it. <laughs> I might put this at my house, in the front of my house, just to freak people out. <laughs> I'm a lot happier with this guy now. I like them all. I'm gifting this one to my buddy. Anyways, that's all guys. Hope you're well. Hope you have a great weekend. And uh, Carving Fusion, over and out. And love the bear, pig, squirrel, rat, raccoon, monkey, donkey, horse, uh, camel, uh, whale, sea otter. Thanks for showing me how to carve the bear, Steve. See you later. I'm carving another one of these things soon. Hi, Lee. Anyways. Had to. Staring right at Lawrence's house. Yep. <laughs> Freak him out for a bit. Curry fusion over and out.